After months of rumors, we finally have an official announcement. Gone is the NX, and we now have the Nintendo Switch. Judging by the announcement trailer, nearly all the rumors turned out to be true. We've got this cool little console hybrid handheld thing, and I for one am looking forward to the next few months to learning more about it. First thing I thought when seeing the actual device was how much it looked like the Wii U gamepad, just more refined. You've got your screen right in the middle, you've got both sides are the controls that you'd expect on a controller. You've got dual analog sticks, a D-pad that instead of being the traditional cross design is four separate buttons. You've got your four face buttons, a plus and minus button, and four shoulder buttons. It's not clear whether or not two of those shoulder buttons are trigger or if all four are digital buttons. That's something that'll come out later. What's cool is that the two sides of this device, the controls, are actually removable and can slide out of the housing. Nintendo calls these the Joy-Con, and the purpose of this is because it's not only a handheld, but also a console. So the Nintendo Switch, it's got this dock that plugs into the TV, and when you plug in the actual console, what was displayed on the device will then appear on the TV. So like I said previously, the Joy-Con is actually two detachable wireless controllers. So when you've got the console in the dock, you can remove the Joy-Con and then go play from your couch or wherever you'd normally game from. There's an accessory for the Joy-Con, and I, this is something that I'd hope is included with the console that they call the Joy-Con grip. It looks basically like a shell of what is a traditional controller, like your Xbox 360 controller, and the Joy-Con can slot into it so that it would look and feel more like a traditional controller instead of having your little two separate weird shaped things. They also have an accessory that they call the Joy-Con Pro Controller that is basically the Wii U Pro Controller but for the Nintendo Switch and that's one that I would assume is going to be sold separately. Another neat little feature they showed off in the announcement was how multiplayer can be done. They showed two ways. The first was the traditional handheld way, where two or more people were using their own consoles, and the other was two people playing on one console, each using a different half of the Joy-Con. For me, that was a neat little thing that you can do. So from what I can tell, each half of the Joy-Con has an analog stick and four buttons, so this method would only work with games that require these controls. They showed it in two games, Mario Kart and an NBA game. Under the hood, the Switch is running on a custom NVIDIA Tegra processor. We've seen NVIDIA put their Tegra processor in different tablets, phones, and Android-based consoles, like the NVIDIA Shield. This processor has quite a bit of power and has delivered some high-quality mobile games, which makes me very excited to see exactly what Nintendo can do with it. As much as we know about the Nintendo Switch, there's still so much more that we don't know. I for one am looking forward to see exactly what this new console handheld hybrid can do over the next few months leading up to its March 2017 release date. What about you guys? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now that is because these people bought into the hype and clearly have very little restraint, which is their own fault, but I believe that this is what Rockstar was the only way that the game tries to scare the player. Even one of the most popular horror games today, Five Nights at Freddy, relies solely on jump scares. Sure, it uses a little...